Hello and welcome to the Bahrain International News. I'm Sarah Lebrick. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Endurance Team is participating in the second Jordan International Championship for general and juniors for the distance of 100 to 120 kilometers with the participation of 15 riders of the team. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Royal Team's second participation in the Jordan Championship underscores the depth of relations between the Bahraini and Jordanian equestrian federations in the efforts to organize joint international championships between the two sides. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the Jordanian Federation for its outstanding efforts in presenting the tournament in the best organizational form after the first tournament witnessed a good organization last month. His Highness explained that the royal team is proceeding according to a plan to qualify young jockeys to participate in the next world championship, which will be held in the Netherlands next September. His Highness added that the championship is a great opportunity for the team to be prepared and get accustomed to international participations asserting his trust in the team's capabilities to achieve advanced ranks. His Highness praised the efforts of the technical and administrative staff of the team, the medical staff and all crews and their keenness to create the appropriate atmosphere for all riders. The horses of the royal team passed the veterinary examination that took place in the championship village under the supervision of the jury committee, which witnessed the participation of a Bahraini jury staff in addition to the veterinary committee. A group of the royal team's trainers and jockeys had participated in the training camp in Jordan following the end of the last race. Works Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Minister Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf stressed that the uh, government shared by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to take citizens' needs into its development plans and programs. He made the statement during his visit to the 12th constituency in the Northern Governorate in the presence of MP Mahmoud Al Bahrani. Municipal Councillor Zainab Al Drazi, Under Secretary for Agriculture Dr. Nabil Mohamed Abdul Fath, and Under Secretary for Works Affairs Ahmed Al Khayyat. Also present were assistant and Under Secretary for Construction and Maintenance Projects, Sheikh Mish'al bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Northern Municipality Director General Lamia Al Fadala. The Minister highlighted the planned projects, including the jetties in Al Malkia and Karzakan, the beachfront of Karzakan, and other infrastructure schemes in the pipeline. Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad shared a meeting of the team of Hope Fund to support youth initiatives and projects. The minister wished the Hope Fund team every success in achieving the goals set by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, aiming to develop national competencies and create a promising generation of Bahrainis who are equipped with high skills, experience and leadership spirit across all work sectors. He stressed the importance of the Hope Fund's implementation of initiatives that contribute to investing in Bahrain youth who seek to develop their ideas and launch their own projects through training, education, refining talent, creating development opportunities, developing startups, and coordinating with various state agencies to implement youth programs and projects. He indicated that the work of the HOPE Fund is based on three basic pillars, namely paving the way to knowledge, opportunities and financing, adding that the fund is working on launching its maiden initiatives aimed at assisting the startup sector in the kingdom and providing Bahraini youth with the necessary financing and expertise in order to translate their ideas into the ground. The minister said that the HOPE Fund boasts a, or boosts a talented and experienced team, expressing confidence in their ability to harness their expertise to, or to, uh, expertise to implement strategies and initiatives that would meet the aspirations of Bahraini youth. Information and e-government authority, the IGA Chief Executive Mohammed Ali Al-Qaid has announced that phase one of the national port of revamp has been launched. Al-Qaid said that the new improved version of the kingdom's national portal, Bahrain.ph, is among the initiatives put forward by the Supreme Council for Information and Communication Technology to the coordinating committee which approved it. He added that its scope includes enhancements to the portal's content to improve user experience, update its infrastructure, offer personalized services, and encourage e-participation. Al-Qaid also stated that beta version implements feedback collection or collected through the IGA's annual customer satisfaction report, a survey conducted between 30th of December 2020 and the 15th of February 2021, and or suggestions received by IGA uh, previously through different platforms. He noted that the portal's design, services and features will be gradually developed over several phases until every early next year, and that it closely follows the UNE government standards.
Al-Qaeda stated that since the portal's launch in 2007 under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister and SCIST Chairman His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the IGA has dedicated significant resources and capabilities towards creating and developing Bahrain.ph. Al-Qaeda invited the public and private sectors, civil society organizations and citizens and residents to visit Bahrain.ph to experience the Beta Virgin and join the IGA on its journey to improve the national portal via the feedback page noted in the link on top of the portal and also via the national suggestions and complaint system to wassel or by participating in focus groups and discussions which we'll be announcing soon. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,082,604 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,017,365 had taken the second, and 80,195 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,324 with 215 recoveries, 119 registered new cases and three deaths. 70 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 43 are contacts of active cases and six are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.